Hi, this is continuation for Power Exynos Lectures, and today we are going to continue our uh, talk about uh, SCRs. And the previous video we covered terrestrials, and one thing that we stopped at is that the terrestrial can provide controllability over the um, a positive half cycle. Okay, and I can really control how to turn it on just during that time, but it cancels the negative half cycle. So today we are going to uh, provide another one or talk about another component which was the track and the track is constructed to resemble two SCRs, two thyristors backwards, okay? And that will give us the option to control the uh, amount of current in uh, both directions and it's very popular and used in lamp dimmers, home appliances and uh, hand tools. So this is the instruct the construction of the uh, track, which is like two um, connected uh, SCRs or thyristors in reverse and in parallel, and this is the internal construction. I will not discuss it, okay? And this is the uh, sample. So it has uh, two terminals there, but these are called MT1 and MT2. It's not anode and cathode anymore. Anode that means always should be positive, cathode should be negative. That's why because that one can accept both polarities so it's called mt1 and mt2 and you have a third terminal here which calls the tick the gate it provides also uh, ability to just give it a pulse and will turn on that track on okay but that pulse there's uh, another uh, practical uh, information here that pulse should be referenced to mt1 not mt2 i personally used uh, tracks before and I tried to um, uh, reference it to MT2, but it was all working wrongly. So that's why I, I just uh, realized that I should uh, reference my pulse to MT1. So the, the voltage there should be referenced to MT1, not MT2, as maybe uh, many people do. Okay, so this is the, the track, the package look like uh, transistors and thyristors but from the number you can really go through it okay so it works like the thyristors but it can conduct in both directions which is more important uh, for some applications and it has three terminals gate mt1 and mt2 it can be triggered by positive and negative pulses as well so this is one thing addition to the uh, to that uh, tracks and compared with the thyristors how the iv will look like it look like this so it when you when you see the positive side here it it's exactly again like the thyristor it will not conduct any current even if the voltage high here until you give a pulse on the gate and, and at, at that time it will turn on and uh, drop the voltage across the mt1 and mt2 and then will turn on passing the current if that happened also in the reverse pass yeah it will happen and you can provide also another pulse and it will turn on and pass the current. So, so it can control the uh, current uh, flow in both directions. And again, we will cover the same exactly uh, example. We have AC supply here, deliver, delivering some current and energy to the load, but I want to chop that current just to control the energy delivered to that load. And I can control the speed, I can control the heat, I can control the illumination, uh, of the light okay and the, and this time i'm going to choose track okay so again that track can control the positive and negative cycles and if that one triggered exactly at the zero crossing here okay so exactly once the um uh, the, the the polarity switch to the other polarity i turn it on and i give a pulse to the gate this is the signal of the output okay so i have the voltage there and also the current because that current now if i if i give a pulse at this zero point here it will conduct and will make that current passing and at that zero point i give it another pulse and it will conduct now but in the reverse direction okay and at this po point i give another another uh, pulse that means there is no delay angle no alpha all is beta, 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 beta equals alpha uh, by here, okay? So now we have 100% power or energy delivered to the, uh, to the load. What about if I now provide a delay angle like this? So if I waited 
and then provide a delay angle and I turn on the gate okay and uh, the current now start passing until this edge here and now I waited and turn on the gate waiting turn on the gate and and this is how how the current look like the voltage of the source will be the same but the current going okay to the to the load will look like the the blue one here okay so what is the delivered uh, uh, energy it will look like this shape here okay and it's less than that one maybe 70 percent and you can really uh, chop more current and more voltage okay and will look like this and it will be less so the controllability here is over the hundred percent so I can deliver hundred percent or less or less or less the virus can deliver fifty percent or less or less or less because it it cancels the negative cycle okay so this is again the delay angle and that is a, the conduction angle beta okay let's have an example now to understand the delay and uh, uh, and conduction angle we have this example where we have here a thyristor has a forward break break over voltage of 175 volt okay when a gate pulse of 2 milliamp is made to flow so i have this circuit that is supplying a sinusoidal wave like this okay and it's going to the thyristor now this sinusoidal is is increasing from zero to higher 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 to a peak and then lower okay it says here the thyristor has a forward voltage of 175 that means it was 175 maybe this point here okay and at that time when a gate pulse of 2 milliamp is made to flow find the delay angle and conduction angle if a sine wave of 350 peak is applied so that sinusoid has a 350 voltage peak okay and we have no how we we know that this is pi and this is 2 pi pi and 2 pi okay so this is the source voltage 350 but what is that 175 again 175 is the voltage at which okay when when the voltage here arrives 175 the is triggered okay we don't care about how much it's triggered but at least we trigger it okay so now if you draw how it looked like you will find it like this now the voltage now if this is off remember this is now off that means the voltage now has no current to, to go there is no current through that load so it will not drop any voltage and that voltage will be here it started from zero 10 20 30 40 50 until it reached the 175 now the voltage across the thyristor is the black one okay start from zero more 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 until it reaches the 175 it triggers on and it triggered or by by a pulse on the gate once we trigger on a, a thyristor i said the anode and cathode will be like a short circuit for example ideally okay that's why the voltage across the thyristor drops to zero and now again, if the 175 reach again, trigger it, trigger it on, and then it uh, turn on and the voltage is zero. So this is now the thyristor voltage. Now, the question is, find the delay angle. What is the delay angle? This is the delay angle. With the, the, the waiting time until we trigger it on. Okay? So this is the delay angle. I think you will agree me, with me that this is the conduction angle. Okay? So now, this is the delay angle and if you look at the load voltage this is the load okay the load voltage will be zero before i start conducting and then when i con when, when the when turning on the thyristor current will flow and the voltage will be higher across that load okay and it will start from 175 to 300 going down at this time the thyristor will switch off because the resistor doesn't accept reversing the polarity and switch off until you give it another signal okay so this is now the load voltage the question what, what when we uh, applied a trigger signal on the gate of the resistor and turn it on 
it's the delay angle and we, we call it angle because we compute it as degree or radian okay not by time so this is okay the time axis but it measures by the phase okay now how, how we start with this I think all of you agree with me that the uh, the the sine wave this is sine wave I think the equation for that is V of T okay equals V maximum sine Omega T okay so this is the equation if we have time and frequency Omega T but if we have just angles phase angle we can redraw it by the angle uh, notation so we have V but in terms of alpha now equals V maximum sine alpha so this one is not time this one is not is th this term omega t is not time and is not frequency it's angle together it's angle okay so that's I can rewrite this equation by this V of s equals V max sine alpha now at each alpha I have different value of voltage for example this alpha here zero so the voltage is zero this alpha here is by the voltage is zero this alpha here is by over two so the voltage is 350 I want the voltage at one uh, the, the alpha which equals the voltage to be 175 okay so how we do that I think V maximum is the 350 alpha is unknown but I know the value that I want to I'm watching okay which is 175 so I can just compensate and by just mathematical skills I can compute it as 30 degree okay I can convert it to radian as well so alpha equals 30 degree I have to wait 30 degree as phase and then I can turn on my uh, thyristor okay but what is the conduction angle I know the delay angle and the conduction angle equals y because this is the delay angle and conduction equal angle equals y so that's why we can just use this equation and we know uh, alpha is 30 by is unknown but by is 180 degree okay because by is 180 I can convert all to radian or all to degree so this one is 180 degree and the answer will be 150 degree let's go to another example and see how we compute it as well so we have this circuit so this is AC supply will supply voltage and current to this load but it's controlled by a thyristor but that thyristor will be triggered not by a microcontroller no it will be triggered by another circuit and this is the circuit we have R's we have diode and we have here the gate okay it says the circuit below uses an SCR wave IG minimum equals 0.1 milliampere what is IG minimum the a gate current okay so the current coming from here okay it will be minimum 0.1 milliampere and VG minimum equals 0.5 so the VG here between the gate and the cathode this one is 0.5 we don't know R okay but we know the voltage between that point and that point okay so the diode is silicon what what was the benefit of this information silicon means it drops 0.7 that means the VD is 0.7 even if it's, it doesn't tell me it's 0.7 I will assume it as 0.7 and the peak amplitude of the input which is this one is a 24 this is the peak determine the trigger angle trigger angle means the delay angle alpha okay if R is 100 kilo this one and R minimum is 10 kilo this one so let's think about this we want to know the delay angle and to know the delay angle I have to know at which voltage it will trigger on okay the biggest question we know that it triggers on at 175 but this one is not known yet it will be determined by analyzing this small circuit and I think you will agree with me that the 24 volt here okay will supply current through the thyristor if it's switch on but if it's off there is no current will go through that load and that 24 volt okay peak value will go and still waiting here until it switch on the uh, the thyristor okay 
So we will assume this point will be 24 volt because this is off and there is no current here. Okay, so this is 24 volt and we can really just use Kirchhoff and Ohm's law to just analyze this loop. Okay, we know these values. We know the current should be going through the, uh, this loop, which is 0.1 milliamp. So we can write the equation. So we know alpha can be known if I knew the voltage that turns on my mo my thyristor but I don't know at what voltage it will turn on so that's why I have to write this equation Vs which is the Vs here it's there okay because this counter drop doesn't drop any 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 voltage okay even if very tiny voltage going there but it doesn't count so 24 volt here minus Ig R minimum okay minus Ig R minus vd the voltage drop here minus the voltage across this point okay so from that point to the ground here it's vgt which is here 0.5 volt so that will equal zero this is just very simple cash flow and after that i can compute vs okay 0.1 milliamp times 10 kilo plus 0.1 milliamp times 100 kilo plus 0.7 plus 0.5 and that's the Vs, which equals 12.5. So the voltage will grow up, 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 up until 12.5, and this will push 0.1 milliamp through all that network to turn on my face. So this is the minimum required. Now, if the voltage keeps on higher and higher, yeah, it pushes more and turn on my face more. Okay, but at that time, this voltage will drop. Okay, but you already give the on time. Okay, and it will turn off once the negative cycle, half cycle comes. Okay, so the Vs at which uh, you turn on your device is 12.2. And I think we go back to this equation. We know at which time it turns on 12.2. We know the Vmax on 24. I think we can compute alpha very easily at 30.6 degree. Okay, so why we need this computation sometimes we don't need to wait for a circuit to do this we can really um, uh, feed these equations to a microcontroller and that microcontroller uh, uh, trigger the thyristor once it computes the voltage and you feed the voltage that you want to apply across this node and after covering these two examples i think i'm confident now to end the talk about thyristors and tracks thank you very much and see you in the coming videos